Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing. Hello world, Greg here. I have a big update video for you guys. And instead of just doing it in the home like I usually do, I've decided to take my bike and ride around Vancouver. And I'm at the beach. <laughs> Although this is not really a swim swimming beach. At least I don't think so. This is Trout Lake in Vancouver. It's kind of more like a pond lake type thingy with ducks. Um, Anyways, we've just hit 400,000 subscribers. That's nuts. Really cool, but nuts. Thank you so much. And where are the kids? Well, Ike and Shin are in school right now. Canadian school, in fact. But we'll be back in Japan soon enough, so don't fret. Something weird that's happened to us while we've been in Canada is people keep on recognizing us, so we hide in places like this to get away. We're introverts, so we kind of like to be in our little shells. Um, now, some people have been quite considerate, and they've emailed us and said that they've seen us, but they didn't say hi. So thanks for that. But really, you, you can say hi. I mean, we'll say hi back. Hi back. Hi back. We don't bite. But Aiko would like to say that while the channel started out initially as her as the main host, that the whole family are hosts. Um, now, she may ask me to cut this, but when we first started the channel, she wanted to be the only host. And if you look at the breakfast video, you'll see her reaction to Shin being on camera as proof of that. They don't film this. Why do... Oh. Oh. Shin's going to test it. No, Shin's watching it. So, the... Okay, okay. Next is mini sausage. So many people have asked, and I think we'll just try this out. We'll do a meetup in Vancouver. Well, actually, uh, North Vancouver over there, to be exact. We'll try out Lynn Canyon. It's a nice place we like to do walks at. So if you want to go, if you're free, I don't know the date yet, but fairly soonish. Um, look in the description. I'll put a link to a little, you know, information gathering thing over there. Um, of course, hardly anybody lives in Vancouver that watches this channel. Uh, I will be out to Anaheim for the very first time. I'll be attending VidCon, which is the biggest online video creator conference that I know of. Uh, there's no official meetup, but uh, only me, I'll be there. So not the kids. Uh, so maybe not so great to meet up with me. But if you do want to say hi and you see me around there, please don't be afraid to say hi. Um, now, most people can't say hi. Uh, in person, uh, but I know a lot of people like to keep in touch with our social media, kids these days. Uh, so we are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I will put the links in the description below, so feel free to, uh, you know, get in touch over that way. If you're trying to email uh, us or like get, get in contact with me directly, the best way is actually old school email. Uh, you can find that on the lifewarmfrom.com website, on the contact page. Uh, if you really want to get in touch, that's the best way. When I started making these videos on YouTube, I had no clue it'd go anywhere. I simply wanted to share our family's experiences and hopefully some other families around the world would join in. In that time, things have changed and things haven't. We're still everyday normal people and I'm still making these videos on the side. The kids are growing up and as I've always stated, as long as the kids want to make videos, I'll make them with them. If they ever don't want to, I won't. Right now, they're totally cool with it, but you know, kids are growing up, personalities are changing. I've come to the realization that making videos like this is one of my dreams come true. And I didn't even realize it because my dream to make documentaries was something I had so many years ago that I kind of forgot about it. But when I've stopped to think about it, I thought, hey, this is cool. I recently put out a survey and wow, almost 15,000 of you guys responded. 
I'm shocked. I am still reading through all those comments and I'm just amazed. So thank you so much. Do you know what I also realized is that I'm a bit short on time. I have to pick up the kids quite soon. Uh, so I'll chill a little bit on the location changes. But I was talking about survey. What did I find out? Well, while there are a lot of people all around the world that watch the videos, there are a lot of young white Americans aged 16 to 30 that watch. Um, something that was kind of cool to see though that I can't get on YouTube stats is that I found out that there are a significant number of kids under the age of 10 that are watching the videos with their families. So that's cool. By the way, I'm making a separate video on the X channel where I'm fully digging into all the stats. So if you really wanna, you know, go on in, then check that out. What kind of videos did you guys want to see? Well, if you go to the video page and if you sort by popularity, that's fairly, you know, congruous with the survey results. The next question on the survey was about Patreon and Patreon is just an optional way to support the channel if you like. Um, and the number one reward that you guys wanted to see was deleted scenes behind the scenes, which is really good to hear because I actually dropped that down to the lowest reward level at $1 a month. So if you even support $1 a month, you can get the most popular reward option. The second most popular reward that people wanted from Patreon was no reward at all. So people just wanted support to support. So thank you very much for that. Um, in third place, it was a new thing, fact versus fiction in Japan. And that's where I'm going to tackle common opinions or stereotypes, um, common questions, and I'll kind of see whether it's true or not. I have a few ideas up my sleeve, uh, but I think that's something where I can really get feedback from patrons and then build out answers to. And I'll do an article once a month. And I can really see this being uh, a place where once I write the article, it can then become a video that everyone can see. Okay, so I'm going to move over to another location. You don't care, do you? You just don't care. Now the next question was how to involve community. And I think what I'll try out is those 15 to 30 second clips at the end of each video. Um, now I still have a big interest in getting videos around the world, like some in-depth videos. And I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do it in a way that captures people's attention. Um, one of the things that you guys wanted to see was our family traveling around the world. So my wife probably won't be too happy to hear this. She likes it in, uh, you know, safe in Japan or Canada. Uh, I mean, not like other places around the world aren't safe, but you know, that's a whole other thing. Um, but anyways, uh, even if I can't get the kids out there, the whole family out there, I'll see if I am allowed to travel to some other countries around the world and live life as a local. Um, my personal favorite was Africa. Uh, but you guys didn't choose that, uh, so your choice was Africa. No, not Africa, I mean <laughs> Europe, Europe. My wife would be a lot more amenable to that, so who knows, maybe I might find my way out over there. The next question was collaborations, and the top five are Rachel and June and Simon and Martina. They were way ahead of everyone else. Then we had a couple guys, John Dobb from Only in Japan and Chris Broad from Abroad in Japan. And then after that was Charlotte in Japan. Uh, now, I was going to talk about, you know, the different ideas that I thought could work with all these different channels, but I'll just leave that to the uh, survey video because I'm running out of time, like I said. Uh, but I think some cool things could happen if everyone's game. So one last thing, as I've mentioned, I've been doing these videos part time just as a side thing, even though they've been taking up more and more of my time. Eventually one day I'd love to be doing this full time, but just right now I'm not financially able to afford to do so. Um, I've been trying to figure out ways to make more money uh, without negatively affecting the channel. The best way I can think about so far is through Patreon uh, so that I could have at least a stable income for my family. Um, but I know so much of you guys are so young, um, at least from my perspective, so I wouldn't expect any financial support from you guys. I mean, when I was in my 20s, I was newly married, had student loan debt, living, you know, on our own, and uh, had kids, so <laughs> there was no way I, I had any extra cash flow. Actually, I think the cash flow was, was negative. I know there are also viewers from all over the world where even a dollar a month is a huge amount of money to you, so... Um, Honestly, the best reward has always been the interaction with you guys. I really cherish the comments. <laughs> Some of them are not so great, but on the most part, you guys are pretty awesome. Uh, so thank you for that, and thanks for watching. And knowing that 
something that I can produce can, can touch people or uh, even make you guys think a little bit differently, that's, that's really cool with me. Um, so as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm, I'm just so sorry for such a long update video. Okay, guys.